What is up today guys, I'm back from another video and now this isn't a try not to challenge or a reaction, this is, well it kind of is a reaction but it's not a video reaction, this is me reacting to two, to two sentence horror stories that will send shivers down your spine. Now, now from what I've heard, these are very scary, like, like, oh, like even though they're two sentences, they're very good. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get in, get onto it. Number one, this first one is there was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. Holy. So someone was in his house with him. Oh. What would you do if that? It, what would you do if that happened to you? Like, like you got, like you got a photo on your phone of you sleeping, and you get. And you lived alone. Like, what would you do? I'd like to know that. Uh, just give me a minute. Number two. My sister says that mummy killed her. Mummy says I don't have a sister. That's no threat. Or, oh, okay, that. That one wasn't bad. Number three, you hear your mum calling, calling you into the kitchen. As you're heading down the stairs, you hear a whisper from the closet saying, Don't go in there, honey. I heard it too. So that wasn't her mum. Oh, God. I can't imagine how, how I would feel if that happened. Number four. It's quite a long one for two sentences. The last thing I saw was my alarm clock flashing 12.07 before she pushed her long rotting nails through my chest, her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright, relieved it was only a dream, but as I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet door creak open. Oh, that was good. That, that was a good one. That, that was a good one. I, I, I would run. I would run. If that was in me, I would run. I'd run. As soon as I hear that closet creak open, I'd run. Number five. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would have been this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. Oh, my God. Nah. So, so he's been buried, but he's, God, I, I, I don't know how to react to that one, Jesus Christ. Number six, I awoke to the sound of a baby monitor tracking with a voice comforting my firstborn child. As I adjusted to a new position, my arm brushed against my wife sleeping next to me. What was with that one? Was that was his wife dead or was his baby baby dead? Uh, I don't know. Number seven. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. This seems to be a long one. After struggling desperately to move any part of his paralytic body just to alert the doctors that he was conscious before they made the first incision. Is this in surgery? He. He was relieved to see that one of the nurses had noticed his pupils dilating from the bright light. She leaned in close and, with, and in a whisper at the tip of his ear said, You think we don't know you're awake? No. No. No, 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 no. That is... That, that's messed up. That is messed up. They were doing surgery on him live while, while he was conscious. Right, number eight. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. So she's dead? She's dead, and the dad can, can hear her screaming. Oh. Oh. I do not know how, how, I, could, how I could react to that. Jesus Christ, that would terrify me. 
All right, number nine. I'll do one more, then I'll then then another. I wake up and everything feels wrong. It's too quiet outside. I look out the window and see everything standing still, looking at my house. Why are they looking at his house? Like seriously, why are they looking at his house? But I don't get that. That's that. That's just a bit weird. That's not. That's not scary. That's just kind of creepy. Alright, alright, number 10. This is the last one, then I'll, then, then I'll save the rest for another another video. The doctors told the amputee he might experience a phantom limb from time to time. No one prepared him for the moments, though, when he felt cold fingers brush across his phantom hand. Wait a minute, what? What? What does that mean? Was he dead? Was he dead and like that's why I like he's a phantom? I don't know, comment down below like, if you know what this means because this is this one's confusing me. And yeah, that is it. That's it, okay, that was two sentence horror stories that will send shivers down your spine. And for the most part, I'd probably say half probably say half of them were scary. Like about about like half of them. Um, some 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 were scary. Some were just creepy, and some I just didn't understand. Like that last one, I do not understand. I did not understand that. Probably the best one there. I probably have to say was probably the one um with the closet and 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 the dream. That God, that that was good. That was a good one. Like that's how that's how you make a horror story. Oh god. Anyway, I know there's a lot more of these, so if you want to see, so so if you want to see more, um, comment down below. Comment down below if if um, yep. I'm really sorry. I cannot speak today. Like I seriously cannot speak today. All right. Comment down below if you want to see more of these, and comment down below which one was your favourite. Which one was your favorite? Which one scared you the most? And yeah, which one scared you the most? Which one? Which one was your favorite? Probably, probably, probably both of them. But yeah. And anyway, don't don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, pause pause this video, go to your subscribe button and smash it. Go go to that subscribe button and smash it as hard as you can. Smash smash it five smash it five times if it takes it. And anyway, yeah, that was me and two. Reading two sentence horror stories. So, I'll see you. I'll see you later, guys. I'm Aaron with ABW.